Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error. The application was unable to start correctly 0xc000007b when you try to launch an application or a game. First thing that you can do is run the application as an administrator and to run any application as an administrator, make a right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click yes for user account control and then it will be done then you can check if still doesn't work then again make a right click on it and then click on properties and then click on compatibility then click on run compatibility troubleshooter then click on try recommended settings then click on test to program just close that and then click on next and then click here yes uh, yes save this uh, these settings for this program then close it and uh, still doesn't work again make a right click on it and then click on properties and then click on compatibility and then uh, put a check on that uh, box if it is not checked um, run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select windows 7 and then click on apply and then click on ok the next method that you can try is check for windows update which is very important so go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on update and security and check for uh, updates so if there is anything to be updated then it will show here you'll see so um, and after that you can check the error if it is fixed or not the next thing that we can try is update or reinstall DirectX which is very important part um, of running a game and for that just open a browser and type Microsoft DirectX download and uh, choose the second one which will directly take you to the download page and just scroll down a bit and then click on download and then open it click on yes to allow and then click on uh, I accept the agreement just follow the instruction and then um, I don't want this being bar so put it uh, uncheck on uh, that box and then click on next and then it will start uh, installing so hopefully this will help your issue and you can restart your system and check the application if still doesn't work then you can update the DLL file, this uh, xinput1 underscore 3.dll. In case if this file is corrupted or missing, maybe uh, then you might get that error. So just uh, search for this file um, in a browser and um, you can download it from here. So just click on it. Scroll down a bit and then click on download. Then click on uh, show in folder and then make a right click on uh, on it and then click on extract all. You have to extract the, uh, extract the file so click on extract and now this is the file so make a right click and then uh, click on copy. Now go to this PC and then go to uh, Windows C drive and then go to Windows click on it and then just type S Y, um, and then you will see here sys wow 64 double click on it and now just paste that and then you have to uh, permit uh, so you have to click on continue so the file is here so I did not have this file before and uh, this should help to fix the issue you can restart your system and check still not working then you can install .NET framework if it is not there in your system so just um, search in a browser for .NET framework and then you'll see here so let's just download the Microsoft one click on it and then we'll cl uh, click on the recommended one and then click on this the download uh, .NET framework 4.8 runtime and open it Click on yes for user account control. And now it says I already have on my system. So in case if you do not have, then it will allow you to continue here. So you just need to complete that. But I already have it, so I will close it. And uh, still not working. The last try, uh, thing that you can try is install Microsoft Visual C++. So I have provided this link in the description. And now, 
you have to download uh, Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019. Now um, download the 86 version. So click on it. And then download the 64 version as well. So open it. Now you have to click on agree uh, terms and conditions so put a, put a check on that box if this file is already there then it will show here repair so you can click on it i do not have this so i will click on install and click on yes for user account control now it might take some time let's see so this is done now let's install this one so I'll put a check on that box again I do not have this file the 64 version now I will click on install again if you have already um, installed you know this file on your system then it will show here repair then you should click on repair and then click on yes for user account control again It's showing uh, restart your system, so I will do that later. Now, the uh, download the two, uh, 2013, uh, you know, uh, one as well. So click here, Microsoft uh, Visual C++. Now scroll down a bit and download the um, 64 one, 64 version. And uh, so just click on it, the US one. And for 86 version, click on the English United States. So click on it. So open it. Click on it. Again, this uh, will show as repair if you already have it. Click on yes for user account control. It's done. Open it. Again, same, this will show repair if you already have it. So click on repair or install. Click on yes for user account control. Now it is done. So restart your system and hopefully this will fix the issue. So that's all for today in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos in future.